How's it going guys? I'm back. More Once Hunter Stories 2 and highly requested from you guys was how to farm bottle caps, how I farm bottle caps and stuff like that, as they are pretty much the end game of Stories 2, uh, not just for talismans, but also to get the uh, the golden expedition tickets that cost 100 here. You can see in the top corner I have 999. This is actually the highest amount of bottle caps that you could hold at one time. This is the cap, the bottle cap cap if you will. Uh, so it's not really worth stockpiling too many of them up because you can't, cannot, you can't hold more than this. But there are quite a few ways that you can get bottle caps and we'll talk about pretty much all of the ways here and I'll tell you guys the exact ones that I use in my gameplay to farm them. So the first way is going to be Everdens. Uh, you can find those all the way throughout the game. Uh, you can just go in them, make sure you bring monsters that can climb, swim, uh, lava walk, uh, lava dive, you know, all of the sort of Pokemon HM style moves uh, that are their rider powers in this to get to all of the different uh, red chests and all of the Everdens. But you don't have to do that. I've actually not done a lot of the Everdens in my game. Uh, there's another thing that you can do as well. If we open up the map here, you can see that I've done all of the secret Elders layer as well as the regular Elder's Lair. These are all of the fast travel points to, to the different floors. But actually, in both the regular Elder's Lair and the secret Elder's Lair, there are going to be chests in the explorable areas. And those chests can have up to 20 bottle caps each in them, depending on what floor you're on. So if you haven't played through the Elder's Lair and the secret Elder's Lair, there are obviously other reasons to farm those things out anyway. But for bottle caps, uh, they are pretty good for bottle caps as well. I would say I got quite a lot of bottle caps from playing through and uh, opening up all the chests in those areas. So that's another way that you can do it just by doing the end game content of the Elder's Lair. On top of that, there is, of course, the co-op expedition. So if we go over to the quest board and we go to multiplayer, we look online and we're going to look at the co-op uh, expedition quest because you can get quite a lot of bottle caps in these as well. Uh, we'll just do a global search. I'm sure some people will have posted some stuff. But here you can see uh, all of these explorable dens uh, they a lot of them give bottle cap rewards pretty much everything except for the low rank and the high rank palamute dens so all of the ones except for the palamute dens give you 10 bottle caps at the end but that's not the only way to get them inside of these expeditions themselves there's also chests that can have bottle caps in them sometimes you get 10 per chest sometimes you get five per chest so uh, one thing that i'm personally doing quite a lot is either hosting my own expeditions or joining other people's. If you can join people that are doing a gold ticket, even better because you can get some Deviants and Elder Dragons at the end. But if you just post your own, you can post the bronze, the silver, or the gold rarity. It doesn't have to be gold. It can be the silver ones as well. Uh, the rare ones, I think they're called R, and the other ones are called N for normal. So you've got normal, rare, and super rare tickets. Any of them work. Uh, I do really recommend using the rare tickets, the silver ones. Just go through, open up all of the chests, and then you can basically just back out and leave. You don't even have to finish it, but if you do finish it, you will get the 10 bottle caps at the end as well. So essentially, repeat farming co-op expeditions to get the chests. You can pick up the eggs along the way, and if you finish it, you get bottle caps at the end as well as whatever the egg at the end is too. So essentially, you've got evidence that you can farm out, You've got the Elder's Lair and the Secret Elder's Lair that have a lot of bottle caps in them. And then you have co-op expedition quests that can also reward you with bottle caps. You can see that the Slay quests don't, don't give bottle caps. Uh, you can also see the Trial quests, uh, they don't give bottle caps either. A few of them do, but you're only getting like five for certain of the criteria to win. So you're a lot faster doing it in these co-op expedition ones which you can also do solo uh one of the easiest things to do is to just solo launch one of these expeditions uh and then literally just use the rare ticket you can use the normal tickets too it's uh it's sort of either or but uh the rare tickets i i find are working pretty good to get the bottle cap chests and just repeat farm that over and over and you'll have enough bottle caps to basically buy an SR ticket in no time. Uh, I wouldn't say I was particularly hoarding my bottle caps, I was just doing a lot of online games and that's how I got to the cap for the bottle caps. So people were asking how I farm bottle caps, there it is, there's all of the methods that I know of that I think are worthwhile doing and I do think the most efficient way of doing it is by doing co-op quests, finishing them or leaving after you've got all the chests and rinse repeating 
that. So I hope this was really helpful for how to basically farm bottle caps. If it was, do let me know in the comments down below. There are other subquests and things in the game that give bottle caps as well. I think one of the ones that gives quite a lot of bottle caps is completing the Monsterpedia, which is in uh, Lelucian. There's a quest giver there that will give you bottle caps for like every 20% of the Monsterpedia you fill out, so you might as well go and grab those as well. But that's pretty much that. Do make sure to stay subscribed if you enjoy these videos, and of course comment if you have any bottle cap farming tips as well. I hope you're all staying safe and having a good day. This was a slightly quicker one, so that's my bottle cap farming methods. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.